Capricorn placements, welcome to Sending Spiritually. So this is going to be for March 7th through 15th. Keep in mind that this is general, so that means not all the messages are going to resonate. If you'd like information on personals, my website is in the description box below. You may also have to flip the roles. The gender of the cards don't matter. And if it doesn't match, it's simply just not your week and someone else needed that message more. So let's see what you guys have going on. The Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. King of Wands. Knight of Swords. The Star. Queen of Wands. The Magician. And Death card. Whoa, that, this is a messy situation off the bat. But I'm going to try to focus mostly on you and then I'll bring other people into this. As a Knight of Wands, this is about you focusing on your dreams, your goals, the, the things that bring you passion into your life. However, be careful not to make any impulsive decisions such as like changing jobs abruptly or just being frustrated and impatient because the Knight of Wands, this is a type of energy where when you want something, you'll almost like bulldoze through anything that tries to get in your way due to the passion and drive that you have in the moment. However, those feelings could be temporary. And if you make decisions off of temporary emotions, there could be some detrimental effects. With the Six of Wands being here, I feel like you're about to have victory and success, recognition, if you're not already in this energy. Some of you were born or just natural born leaders. Um, you tend to lead the way. You basically travel on the path that most people don't choose. And because of that, you have gained more enlightenment and wisdom than maybe the peers that are amongst you. As the Nine of Wands energy is here, I feel like you have two people that are vying for your attention. It could even be three. However, I am seeing it as two individuals. This King of Wands is someone that you know of. They may have fire energy. Leo Aries Sag placements. They don't have to though, but this is someone that I feel is more stable and grounded. They know what they want um, and they're trying to manifest you into their life. However, this person may have a relationship that they're trying to hide or a connection that is still pending as far as it being dissolved entirely so maybe someone who was in a long-term relationship but there's still some sort of ties there whether it's kids business some sort of connection that way but this king of wands has their eye on you they want to pursue you they see you somehow so this could be someone who sees you at work um they see you at the grocery store this is a place where you frequent often as the knight of swords is here this is another individual as well someone who's separate from this king of wands this knight of swords is more of a courageous energy you know they're more assertive more daring this is a person that's uh, they'd be more willing to approach you in person and let you know that, that they're interested as opposed to the king of wands who may be inclined to play like some sort of mind games or this would be the type of person that would prefer getting attention um but this knight of swords their identity is concealed meaning that they haven't actually entered your life yet however this person may only be like a couple of days maybe a week to th three weeks max away so you're gonna have some options that you will have to choose from however you will have to kind of discern which one of these two is really um worth investing into because like i said there may be a situation where someone's trying to hide another woman or they want to have their cake and eat it too and juggle you while they have their own situation and if you're okay with that then you're okay with that if not um then be aware of someone coming in to manipulate you because i feel like whoever this queen of wands is that is attached to this man or woman it is showing it as a masculine energy though they're not willing to let go this is someone that's holding on to dear life to this person due to ulterior motives it could be image benefits financial gain like there's no love or real intimacy in this connection there may have been lust at some point but i feel like that fire has burnt out and now this person wants to pursue you um as a star energy is here you're also doing a lot of healing be patient with yourself maybe even be patient with the people that are around you the star energy is just really about trusting in the divine and having faith that things are going to work out despite however it may look right now Things can change literally overnight. And as we're talking about changes, we have the death energy here. So the magician and the death card, mm, I don't like that energy, to be honest. Like the combination of this may even be dark magic or black magic. Like, like I said, whoever this person is, they're willing to hold on to this king of wands by all means necessary. And if that means like using dark magic to try to control someone then that's what they're going to do. I guess they just want to let you know ahead of time of the chaos. However, this may not even be love related. Others of you, this could be some sort of chaos or destruction that's going to be amongst your peers. This may be family because it's going to be a group of four people 
one person um, is going to, I don't know, maybe they made some sort of error or they did a mistake. Someone's about to get exposed in front of like family members and whoever this person, they had, they were being selfish in some way, shape or form with this King of Wands. And this is information that's finally coming to light about what was going on. And this may have even been um, a situation that was hidden for either six weeks or six years, depending on who's watching. So something's going to get exposed. And I also see things that really have nothing to do with you. As far as you just take your time, continue to focus on yourself, self-care, self-love, self self-admiration. As you continue being in that energy, anything that's not aligned with you and that's not on your frequency, automatically you won't be attracted to it. So just be aware of temptation, especially if you have two to three options because you really have to gauge like which one's serious, which one only wants like a physical relationship, sex, maybe a good time, but nothing really substantial. If you are looking for something casual, then... This King of Wands may be somebody that's in your arena. However, if you want something more stable and grounded, this Knight of Swords may be some, someone that you have to wait on. However, I, I feel like they're just around the corner. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. There's an energy of juggling, maybe even being unsure. Two of Pentacles can sometimes be a financial burdens. But if you are having issues with finances, within two months, which would be around end of May, there's going to be some sort of success that happens and if you were having financial issues or you were just feeling imbalanced within two months from now there's some sort of habits that you're going to embed into your routine that will help you find equilibrium once again you see how this king of wands as the moon card is here with shh, keeping secrets hiding things yes this person is very attractive physically attractive as well um but they tend to be sometimes even controlling. The King of Wands is my player card. Like this is a person that's most likely to engage in like promiscuous activity behind people's back. And it seems like they're a secretive person in general. So just be, be aware of whoever that person is. Because you could get dragged into their mess for no reason at all. When you could just be minding your business and focusing on yourself and building your money up and healing. But there is one person that's worth it. They're worth the time, the effort, the dedication. Um, and this Knight of Swords person that's coming in, they're a hard worker themselves. This is not someone who's interested in playing the field. This person likes to eat right, exercise. Um, they may have been raised by a father figure who had difficulty showing emotions. So this person may have like a guard up when you first meet them. However, as time goes on, they will learn to lower their guard with you. But you do have to be patient and practical when it comes to this person. I feel like they're rushing towards you. Maybe it's divinely guided because we have this eagle, which is a spirit guide as well. Yeah, this person, they think about you when they're at work or that's when. Yeah, this Knight of Swords, if they're not in your life already, they're definitely on their way. I would say within... three weeks max i just feel that heavily so if you've been feeling sad regretful crying over spilled milk looking at the past and like dwelling on things that you can't change it's so hard to stay i mean it's so easy to stay in that energy so let yourself feel those emotions and process them however don't allow yourself to stay in that low vibration as the five of cups energies here whatever you've lost or you deem as a loss if you turn around you'll see that you actually have more viable options you know cups that are actually filled as opposed to things that you can't change your future is bright it's just about dealing with those negative thought thought patterns that may even be sent to you by other people i just feel like you're somebody who has stability within your life you may not feel like the most stable person but from the outside looking in you have something valuable and people can see that as well and you may be somebody who if you're not a loner you just enjoy your time alone this is how you recharge and rest. And it's important for you to maintain that peace that you've had and not allow people to come in and cause chaos and destruction. Because I do see you having options and people that are definitely interested in you. They see you as this ray of light. You bring a lot of happiness and joy into people's lives. As the Queen of Cups is here, this is someone who's open. Um, so you may be somebody who is just loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate. 
um, someone who cares about other people. You do know how to put up your boundaries when needed um, so that you're not taken advantage of. And you're being asked to show that skill right now. So as a four of swords, there's an emphasis on needing to rest more. Maybe there's been an issue with sleeping. But take action in whatever your goals and dreams are. I feel like sometimes you tend to be hyper-focused on work and material things and finances um, at times. But I definitely see long-term stability coming in if you don't already have that. But I feel like people feel like you have some form of stability on your own. Because um, Capricorn is a earth sign. You do tend to be very grounded. Um, people see you as an anchor, as someone that they can always count on. However, the favor may not be returned to you where you feel like you have people that you can count on or ask for help when you need it. Five of Cups is at the bottom of this deck as well. So there is an energy of dwelling or processing a loss, which is okay. Take your time. But you do have options coming in. So don't allow any good opportunities to slip you or, you know, pass you by. So let's see. What other information do Capricorn placements need to know? Queen of Swords. Strength card, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is a time for you to use your discernment. Because the Queen of Swords is someone who is very truthful and honest. This is someone that you can't get anything by because they have a lot of experience, especially dealing with people that are liars and deceitful. Um, so put your guard up. Find strength and courage. And also pay attention to anyone who is investing in you, putting in time, effort, wanting to see you, um, someone who's chivalrous, they, they treat you with kindness and respect. That's the person that you should lean more towards, especially if you have multiple options. So when it comes to this Queen of Wands that's on the outside, that has nothing to do with you, yeah. The first thing that I noticed in this card was that entity. I really don't like how this feels. So whoever this Queen of Wands is, this card just came out twice to clarify her. She's holding on to some sort of black cat. Usually the Queen of Wands is somebody who is, you know, fiery and passionate, someone who gets things done, a very attractive person. But when this person's energy is inverted or when they're completely imbalanced, this is someone who's reckless. You know, they'll use their sexual energy to get whatever they want. This is like the energy of like a Jezebel or Incubus, Succubus spirit. This is the type of like man or woman that will definitely pursue people for ulterior motives, such as like financial status things of that nature so that's why they want to hold on to that king of wands that wants to pursue you however that's none of your problem they just want to bring it up to you so that you're aware and you can protect yourself however no weapons formed against you shall prosper as the magician is here and the six of pentacles there's a need to focus more on relationships that give you equal give and take rep reciprocity not just you putting in the time and effort 80 percent of the time and then getting breadcrumbs and then wondering why you feel burnt out at the end of the day. So, yeah. I feel like you're a very mature, grounded person. You're successful. You're not very, um, you're not very much of a risk taker. Um, you're very careful, but a loyal, principled person. And that's what you deserve. You deserve someone that's in the same energy signature as you. And as the moon energy is here, it's like there's a lot of unseen things that you're, you're unaware of. Possibly someone hiding things, keeping secrets. But you're strong enough to see through the illusions. You already have the wisdom that you need. It's just all about you applying the wisdom and knowledge that you've gained. So let me get my essential messages deck. That way I can clarify this information. What do Capricorn placements need to know? We need to talk ASAP. Childhood trauma. Clearing work. Pregnancy, controlling parents, and I use you when it benefits me in reverse. So if you want to avoid manipulation, don't let people come in and out. Um, like, don't let anybody use you as a revolving door because we have, I, I use you when it benefits me. So this may be something that's lingering around you, but you can see through it as long as you pay attention to the red flags. And look, I couldn't make this up. I said this earlier, demon entity possession. There's someone around you that is... Oh, man, I don't know what they did. They must have summoned something to try to control whoever the King of Wands is. That's one of the options that's approaching you. 
Now, if this is a group setting, if this in this group there's one person that's evil and possibly doing magic on everyone involved. I'm just here to give the messages, but we have we need to talk ASAP. There could be a conversation that's needing to be had um, whenever the secret is revealed. We also have PTSD, childhood trauma, and Stockholm Syndrome. So a lot of the things that you guys go through or, or the emotions that you process with that Five of Cups may be because of things that you went through early childhood that you may have suppressed and it's finally getting cleared now. And we also have clearing work and cord cutting needed. So spiritual baths would be good for you, Epsom salt baths. It really helps clear your aura because with the Ace of Swords here, you really see things for what they are. And I feel like people sometimes try to undermine you and your intelligence. And this is me letting you know you should always trust your intuition. There's also an element here of controlling or overbearing parents. That may be a factor. If it's not for you, it's one of the options that you're connected to. And you'll know which the player is because this will be the element. So with the King of Wands, there's going to be an aspect of parental figures just kind of interfering with the relationship. There's just going to be very many red flags when it comes to that King of Wands. This Knight of Swords, however, is someone that I feel is a more viable option. It may not seem like that at first. You will have to get to know this person. But anything that starts fast ends just as fast anyway. Um, so yeah, protect yourselves. Sage, prayer. Whatever you usually do, just continue with your clearing routine. If you don't have one, it is being recommended that you implement one because you guys may have some haters that you don't even know about. And honestly, these people just don't have anything better to do with their lives and it does not concern you. So, yeah. One last deck. For Capricorn placements, what should you be focusing on? March 7th through the 15th. The creator, this is the King of Wands in the traditional Rider Waite deck. So that King of Wands energy, they're prominent because if you accept whatever this trap is, because you could essentially get trapped into a situation that could deter you off your path, just because someone is attractive on the surface level, you have to pay attention how you feel within your gut. Right now is the time for you to take action towards your goals and your dreams. Don't allow fear to hold you back. I also see a possible pregnancy, um, maybe unplanned, but I feel in the end it's all going to work out. Um, there is going to be someone who will be contemplating abortion, but I feel like in the end you're going to make the decision to keep the child. As the magician energies here, you're somebody who's a master manifester. I also feel like you're due good karma in some way. But this good karma depends on whether you've learned this lesson or not. Because I feel like there was someone that you dealt with in the past that was similar to this King of Wands. You know, on the outside, they seemed very charming, loving, caring, nurturing. However, that was just like a mask that they had on. And it wasn't until you really got to know this person that you saw characteristics that they didn't show you initially. So that same lesson is being brought to you finally to see if you've passed. Some of you may choose this King of Wands because you're going to be a bit more attracted to this person physically and sexually. This Knight of Swords, they may have their guard up. You will be attracted to them as well, but yeah, it really just depends. With changes coming in, it really depends on which path that you choose. Some of you, if you haven't learned a lesson, you may have to go through a situation where you're in a third party and you don't know it and you're being breadcrumbed. And you're dealing with somebody who's in and out and inconsistent and then you end up falling for this person. You know that rigmarole. That same chaotic cyclical cycle that nobody wants to be in. That you just spent so much time trying to get out of. So don't try to fall for any traps. Because this is what you have coming for you. Emotional fulfillment. Happiness. This Ten of Cups is also the energy that's surrounding this Nine of Swords. So if you do have two options, there's one person that can definitely give you the potential marriage long-term union that you're looking for but it is going to take time so just be patient we also have silence there's a lot of energy of like being silent because this is similar to the moon card in the other deck where she was shushing so yeah be aware of just things that are hidden and pay attention to how you feel rather than what you see and go with the flow as well if you 
Yeah, this is the energy of the Page of Cups. There, there could be an offer, an apology that comes in, maybe even a message. This could be like you meet someone, they try to move on with you, their ex finds out about you and then tries to send you a message and, and cause chaos and drama. Like, none of that has anything to do with you. I don't feel like it's going to go that far, but some of you may get an apology from a past person, maybe like a former friend that you fell out with, and they will want to kind of reconnect or reconcile. But it's solely up to you because some of these people, they had a tendency or patterns of like projecting onto you or emotionally dumping on you. They weren't really true friends or people that you could call on for support. So anyone coming back from the past, you have to gauge whether they've actually changed or if they just want to be in your energy to waste your time and because they have nothing better to do. As the Queen of Pentacles energy is here with flowering, you're very stable, very grounded, um, mature. And I see you maintaining that energy as long as you can pay attention to people's projections. Because sometimes the thoughts that you have that don't align with you aren't even yours. It's just people thinking that towards you. And we also have Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's some snakes around you in your circle that if you let in, this is what they're going to do. They're going to stress you out, burst your bubble on purpose. Not even like accidentally no these people will intentionally come into your life and cause chaos this king of wands energy whoever this person is whether it's a friend lover family member this is someone that currently wants to pursue you they see you as a dream but this person's two-faced and they're a snake so just know if you are waiting for new love you definitely have new opportunities coming in but you will have to gauge which which path is best for you and which one is simply a trap because you may be dealing with somebody who's like a rebel or they purposely go against the grain. They purposely or intentionally will try to hurt you just to make a point or to or to play some sort of like emotional or mental chess. And then the other option will bring you celebration and happiness and growth. And it seems like it's around it with blue energy. So whoever is the energy that is aligned with you will be somebody that you have clear communication with. They don't add on to your anxiety that you may already have. And yeah, this is someone that's consistent. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.